Okay, so the season premiere of Love and Marriage Huntsville has aired. Mostly everybody has gotten their opinions out. So here is mine. Now, the crazy thing is that every season, whether it's a season premiere, season uh, finale, reunion, Miss Ariane Coastal Curry just had to make an appearance. This girl has been laying low on social media for a good little minute. She'll pop out here and there talking about absolutely nothing, <laughs> showing and giving absolutely nothing. And right before the season premiere, here she goes, popping out with a picture of her in Martel Holt's bed. Now, this could be anything. It could be anything. She could have been dropping knocks off. She could have been picking knocks up. She could have went to use the bathroom. She could have been doing anything, honey. Doesn't mean that she was sleeping with them, but we all know what we can assume she's sleeping with them. <laughs> and then Melody dropped her new line with uh, Jay Bowling, fashion designer Jay Bowling. And so what does Ariane do? I just finished my photo shoot for my new line. Girl gone. We all know that your AliExpress clothes has come in and maybe you're taking some pictures, but we want to see these pictures, honey, because everybody's saying that you're pregnant. And if these are some updated pictures, baby, this can shut everybody down. Well, not really, because some people are late bloomers in their pregnancy. So, girl, I don't know. We'll know in a, in a few months. Okay, so back to the episode. So, I want to speak about each individual couple individually, opposed to just doing a full recap on the episodes, because that's what everyone else does, and I know everybody has seen most of the other YouTubers' videos, and I don't want to keep repeating the same thing. So, I'm going to give my opinion and my take on the episode, couple by couple. So, of course, we're going to start off with... I'm going to start off with Martell. Although Melody has had more scenes and has been talked about more than anyone on this, the 100th reunion. I'm mean, not the 100th reunion, but the 100th episode taping, it was mainly Melody. And this is what these people fail to realize. Melody had a whole scene to herself and a half a scene to herself. And then we get Tisha and Marceau sharing the um, slot with Martell. And girl, this is just ridiculous. It's the fool. That woman is a star and they don't like it. Okay, so on to Martell. The first thing that I recall from Martell's scenes are him sitting down with his mom after he was getting rubbed on by this woman and he talking about how he loved for women to rub on him. Man, you better keep these women's hands off of you. That's your problem, sir. Keep these women's hands off of you. Get a male masseuse. Get a male technician. Get a male everything. Jesus. But he sat down and he was talking to his mom and this enabler because that's all Miss Marlene is. She's an old enabler. She is not good for this man's health. Yes, we love and support our children. We uplift them, but we do not uphold them, and they're wrong. Martel went to tell his mother that he was seeing a therapist. She's like, "Why? What? What's wrong with you, lady? You know what's wrong with him? He's a womanizer, a mental abuser, and he ain't no good. You know exactly what's wrong with him. You raised him." So he told her he was going to see a therapist to become a better person. And she was like, ain't nothing wrong with you. So now I'm no longer blaming Martell because he is not the problem. His mother is the problem. And I'm not sure if this was how she was raised and how she's used to seeing her father and how the majority of her relationships went. So this is how she's raising her son. But baby, when this man is trying to get help, whether it's um, sincere or not, when he's trying to get help, you don't tell him you don't need the help. There's nothing wrong with you. You're perfectly fine because he's not. Martell has deep-rooted issues. And I'm starting to think that those issues stem from the relationship with his mother. And that stems from the relationship that she's had in her life. You cannot encourage this man not to get help. And then when he's talking about co-parenting, you want to say, well, you don't talk about the father and throw the father up under the bus. Here she go again, throwing shots at Melody. Because, baby, I'm going to tell y'all, I said it once and I said it again. Y'all hit the 
jackpot when y'all got with me when y'all got me involved in y'all lives because honey if it was most women that i know oh martel would be catching pure hell Mel, if she does sit and she explains to her kids what's going on what is wrong with that that's not her bad mouthing their father that's her enlightening them and keeping them updated on what's going on you cannot blame this woman for being open and honest with her kids just because you're not open and honest with yours that's the message for you, Miss Marlene. Take it and take it well, honey. Now, she's telling this man, oh, you don't talk about the kids back to their father. Baby, this woman is ridiculous. I'm starting to wonder how that male get involved with any of these people. Miss Marlene is a complete, total, and utter joke. Now, before we even get there, Sheree called, right? So, the exchange on the phone between her and Marcel was flirty to me. It looked sincere because at first I was like, child, these people ain't together. This is a storyline. At least that's what Ariane Coast our curse said. <laughs> and, but when she started to talk and everybody was speaking to him, I'm like, oh, they probably do got something going on for real. And then Martel went to speak on it. Um, Sheree and I, we're good friends. Good friends. Boy, y'all rocking and socking. Y'all kicking and knocking. Y'all is getting in between the sheets and you talking about y'all are good friends oh no this was for ariana that was for ariana only so maybe he is telling her well it ain't no maybe he is telling her okay what him and sheree has isn't serious it's for television baby i don't understand it i don't get it why is Martel like he just can't even fake it long enough to be like okay yeah this is my girl but then he turns around and say um, in another episode, another scene, I'm not ready for a full-blown relationship. No, because you're waiting out on Melody. And on to him and Melody. He's waiting out on Melody to finish her prayer because he said, he said he asked Melody to pray about them getting into a good space to co-parent. While Melody is saying he, he was asking her to pray about them getting back together. I believe Mel... I believe Mel, because honey, Martel doesn't care about y'all being in no good space to co-parent. Martel misses his family and he wants to come home. It's been a long three years out here. A cold, cold, cold three years. That man is struggling. That man misses his wife. He misses his family. He missed the finance. He missed the security. He missed the lifestyle. Mel is becoming an actress, a singer. She's taking these trips, vacations. She's doing it all, honey. And he can't have that. He wants a part of it. And that is what he misses. And he can't say he doesn't because as soon as she called from the trap phone, I love how Mel just flipped out that flip phone like, boop. Y'all won't have my number. Boop. Now, in the middle of her flipping out this phone, because we're going to get back to Martell, she called Tisha. Tisha gave this long pause. Well, it could have been editing, but Tisha gave this long pause like, uh, who is this in? Baby, you know who the word this is, her and Stormy. But she just gave this long pause. They just give this nasty attitude. Man, it's so much better than me because I wouldn't invite them helpers to not a nothing. I don't care who we celebrate, baby. It could be a celebration for Jesus. And they wouldn't have been there because it's crazy. Like, Tisha was just so, mm, yeah, okay, be there. I have nothing for Mel in her confessional. I have nothing to say. Well, she didn't say this verbatim, but this is my take on it. I have nothing for Mel. I left everything that I had for Mel at the reunion. Yeah, you didn't leave anything you had for Mel at the reunion. You actually took some tilts and picked up everything about her because you hear you go sitting up here with this blonde wig. <laughs> with this blonde wig, honey. You came back from that reunion and said, look, I'm going to transition into the dark skin version of melody and i'm going to build myself up and i'm going to be great which is sad because tisha is a beautiful woman but now you're transitioning into everything that you said you disliked you're transitioning into the the, the whole image of the dark soul girl what is wrong with you so then she calls stormy and stormy is like hello who is this <laughs> this man who is this Whew. Man, this your new number. No, baby, this is not her new number. But listen to the message she has to tell you. These people were acting so foolish. Now, I'm going to give Stormy a little break. Even though I just, I don't like Stormy. I'm going to give Stormy a little break. 
she did say she was taken aback when Mel called her from this strange number. So she wasn't sure what was going on. Okay, that's her break. And I would have broken off all communication with her after that and definitely wouldn't have given her any time at Kimmy's party. But now let's get to Kimmy's party. Okay, so after Martel was gasping for air and breath once Melody called him to invite him, we see him at the party begging her. Everything but begging. Begging her. Have you thought about that prayer? Why are you doing me like this? Why are you being like this to me? Why are you being so mean and difficult? Listen, sir, your time is over, up, done, and through. What can't that man understand about that? Like, that woman is done with you. And I feel, a part of me feels so bad because they could have been perfect together. Like, I hate Martel for that. And I don't mean like I just hate his guts. But I hate his actions for that. Like, they could have been so good together so beautiful together and this is what you do now you struggle and you suffer and you gotta beg sneak and beg why are you doing me like this why because you deserve it fool because you deserve everything that she's giving you now let's see how this is going to play out for the rest of the season because she said everybody was minding their business but they have it because when I do my review on Stormy scene, I'm going to point out, which I'm quite sure everyone else has seen, her and her mom just making this Melody isn't a good friend because she isn't consistent. A storyline. Girl, ain't nobody got to call you every day, all day. What is wrong with y'all needed behinds? What is wrong with these people? I don't get these women like everybody is supposed to be focused on their own lives and their own stories. Leave melody out your crap i think this is going to be a fairly decent season i really love the um opening i love the fact that i see my girl kiki because kiki is a, sl a bit messy she's slight messy boots but i will take kiki over destiny any day any day stormy and her husband are not in the um opening scene okay we see y'all i like courtney I do not like Stormy. And if she don't stop it, she going to end up... Uh, okay, I'll say that for the next one. But okay, you guys, have a great day.